You remember that time when you got exposed to the sun a little bit longer than usual and your skin become red and painful? That's what we call the first degree burns. So the first degree burns are very common and they happen to everyone and here we will explain why your skin becomes red and why it becomes painful when you get those type of burns and how to treat them. Please like this video so it reaches more people. So what we really mean by a first degree burn? So it means that it's an injury localized to the epidermis. So the skin has three main layers, the epidermis, the dermis, and the subcutaneous layer, which is also called the hypodermis. Now every layer of those layers has uh, different layers by itself, but those are the main ones. And in first degree burn, the epidermis gets burned. So this layer would be uh, burned by the sun when you get exposed longer than usual. So how the first degree burn present? So it present with reddened skin, and that means that the dermis is intact. So the skin becomes red, all the burned skin becomes red, and it becomes red because the blood vessels supplying the skin are still intact, because those vessels are located in the dermis. And the dermis is not affected by the first degree burn. Only the epidermis is the affected layer. So the blood supply is still intact, and that's why the skin is red. And the skin is dry when it gets burned by the first degree burn. The affected individual would feel pain at the burn site, and it means that the nerve endings in the reticular dermis are intact, because again, the dermis is not affected by the damage, so the, the nerve endings, they are located there, so they would be working, and the patient feels pain. The burned skin is blanched to touch, meaning when you press with your finger against the burned skin, it turns to white color, and then when you release finger, it is back to red, meaning the blood vessel again in the dermis is, are intact. And the first degree burns are not associated with the blisters. A blister is a bucket of skin containing fluid, blood, lymph, or any type of fluid, and it forms in the second degree burns. In the first degree burns, there is no blisters. So when you see a blister, it means that the burn is not a first degree burn. Now let's talk about the healing of the first degree burns. So the first degree burns heal perfectly without scarring. Examples of a first degree burn are the sunburn, as we mentioned, the minor scald from kitchen accident, so when there is a hot water and the person gets exposed to that water, they ha would have a first degree burn, and so on. A treatment is to relieve the pain with topical soothing agents, like cool water for 10 to 20 minutes, aloe vera gel could be used, silver sulfadiazine cream, this is an antibiotic, so it would prevent it infection and vaseline could be used plus minus the sites if the pain is severe the first degree burn heals in four days to a week so it's a pretty short time to heal and repeated sunburns increase the risk of skin cancer with that we reach the end thank you for watching please like this video and peace